Hello, is everyone there? Am I here? Are you here? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Hi, Jizem and Pam and King Trash and Laura and Jizzy and Paris and Juliusa and Upside Down King A and Pam again. <laughs> There's lots of Pams. Uh, Dar and Illuminate and Cassette. I'm going to tweet this because I always forget. Uh, tweeting away. Yes, I'm here. Welcome to my live show. Thanks for coming. I hope you're all good. It's been a little while. I feel like I've gone, come back to school after being away for a bit. I've got my satchel. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know where I'm going. Where's science class? Uh, hey, Danielle. Hey, Normal North. Welcome to my show. So first thing most of you are probably noticing is this forehead exposure. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, that's the thing. It's just something I'm trying out. So I've got a new hairdresser, first of all. Sorry, Fabrice. Sometimes it's good to change up your hairdresser now and then. And I said, you know, if I wanted to try putting my hair up a little bit more, what is a hairstyle I could have? So we had a little chat, had a little explain, and then I've gone with basically a slightly shorter version of my haircut that I've already got. So, worst case scenario, if it was going to look bad, I could just put my fringe down again. So my fringe is basically the same. It's just defying gravity uh <laughs> it's it's uh just up north so it's an experiment do you like it is the question i mean you're the human you're the ones that are seeing me all day i don't see myself so i don't really mind what my hair looks like yes thumbs up yes yes said bake yes said hellhound allison jacqueline it's a nice little change isn't it i love it oh my god thank you it looks amazing, says Zetley. New hairstyle, said Teresa. Yes. Okay, I've seen a lot of positives, so that's a good thing. I'm still not used to seeing myself in the mirror. I'm like, wait, what? Who is this? I'm looking at myself from all different angles. And it's like, not really, I'm not vain, but if I walk past myself in like a car window or something, I'm like, oh, hello. <laughs> Who's that guy? I'm not used to him staring back. Like my You Now icon just appeared and it was fringy Phil. I was like, oh yeah. That happened. So, it's a learning curve. I've been experimenting with different hair products as well, because that's a whole field of grooming I didn't really step into before. All I used to do, get out of the shower, straighten my hair, maybe put a bit of hairspray on it to get rid of the splinges. No more splinges! That's a tick in the positive column. And uh, No more splinges. Um, but now it's like, Sea salt spray, sea salt matte spray, matte spray, wax, other wax, triple wax, super manly wax extreme. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to learn how to do it. I've got, what's this? Matte head gas. This is the one I tried today. It's quite mattifying. Quite like it. Um, but there might be a few quiff catastrophes as I experiment with some different products. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how it's going. Um, it looks great. Is your forehead cold? Uh, said Maria. Yeah, that's something. I went out today. I was like, oof, ain't half breezy up there. I mean, it's nothing on people that completely shave their heads because they must seriously be like, whoa, what happened to the giant dog on my head? Uh, <laughs> I missed the fringe. Don't worry. Just, it's still here. It's just in a different position. That's all. Um, is it greasy? No, it's, it's matte. But maybe this one is a bit greasier than the one I used in my Instagram photo. Taken by photographer extraordinaire Daniel Howell. Uh, I was like, I was trying to take a selfie and they all looked terrible. I was like, Dan, can you take a photo of me? And then literally three photos and they all looked great. I was like, how could I not, I not do that? Apparently it's about not knowing what to do with my face. I need to learn to just relax the face. There we go. <laughs> Apparently what I think is a smile is not a good smile. Um, I can tell if I'm not relaxing my face if I get forehead wrinkles. As soon as they appear, you know, you know I'm not relaxed. I'm a boy on edge. Uh, I've got a lot of forehead wrinkles if I, if I get too, uh, too, what's the word? Startled. Um, you look great. Thank you for all the compliments flooding into the chat. I'm not ignoring you. I just don't know what to say. I, I think... I think that's very nice of you. It'd be terrible if you were like, change it back. It's horrible. Um, 
so thanks. Are you not warm? No, I just come in and it is freezing this house, so I'm keeping my jacket on. I never know if this is an indoor or an outdoor jacket, it's pretty outdoors, but I'm wearing it indoors because I'm a bit chilly. I'm a chilly filly. RIP to the fringe 2K80. It's, it's not gone, it might not be gone forever, it's just it's taking a, a vertical break I'm watching this during class. Thanks for watching this during class. Hopefully I'm educating you on Phil grooming. Uh, <laughs> is that science? Is that home economics? I'm not really sure. How many photos before you chose the right photo? There was a lot of photos. Let me see how many we got. Um, how many photos did we take? A lot. Oh, there is, there's like, <laughs> there's like 20. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I need this one to be a good photo. I quite like that one. But I, I was just looking off to the side of it too much. But it's nice, isn't it? Uh, what else? Ooh, this one, that was a, that was a bit different. It was a bit under chin, but you couldn't see the hair that well, so I didn't choose that one. Um, anyway, oh my gosh, I've never caught a live stream before. I'm so happy, said Kaya. Welcome! Uh, Millie is so excited to see me in Manila. I'm excited, Millie. That's going to be fun. And also my new hair <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, maybe I'll have my forehead out in Manila. That would be good, actually, if it's humid there. Get rid of the forehead splinges caused by humidity. Me and humidity are not good friends. Um, so apparently, more about my hair. It's very fine and fully straight, so it's quite hard to style, is what my new hairdresser said. Thanks. Not like Dan, who has thick, curly hair. Uh, what are you eating? I've got a snack. What's my snack? I, I would argue, it's quite a controversial opinion, that pretzel flips are god-tier chocolate snacks. Would you say they are god-tier if you've not had them before? Literally everything you want. Sweetness, saltiness, chocolatiness. Bellissimo. They're, they're so good. I've just been... How many have I had? I've had three. I haven't pigged out on the whole back because I'm going to eat later. But that's... Bittersweet doesn't like pretzels. Bittersweet? Bittersweet who? Bittersweet DJ H. Oh. <laughs> um, these, they, they transform pretzels. It's like a whole new world of pretzels. Um, needs to be white chocolate. Yeah, they do white chocolate and fudge as well. And they're so good. So, what have I been up to since we last had a little chin wag? Uh, <laughs> chin wag. <laughs> I don't think I've said that in like 10 years. Uh, I went and got a flu jab with Dan uh, before tour. I know it's a weird time to get a flu jab, but didn't get the flu all winter. But then thought, you know what? It's a potential risk. Uh, if I'm seeing loads of people every day and traveling to different places and being exposed to the elements, probably good to get a flu jab. As if one person comes to a meet and greet or is in the front row and they've got the flu, it could be curtains because flu knocks you out of the game for like two weeks. So went to the flu place, <laughs> pharmacy, and Dan had his and he was like, oh, I didn't feel it. It was, it was nothing. Like I did, honestly didn't feel it, it's fine. I was feeling a bit nervous, because you know me, I always like over-dramatise things in my head. Especially when you're a kid, do you know when you went for injections and then all your friends were like, yeah, the doctor twisted it into my arm and twisted the needle. And then your other friend was like, yeah, you had to do it five times because they couldn't find the vein. Um, I was that kind of kid that was like obsessed with what happened and how painful it was. Anyway, so I was like, did it hurt, Dan? He's like, no, it didn't hurt at all. It was fine, I didn't feel it. I go in. And unbeknownst to me, it wasn't because I was trying to flex for the uh, doctor, but I got my arm out and apparently, which arm? Is this arm? So once a guy or anyone really gets their arm out, the, it, like, the feeling is you want to like tense your arm if you're feeling nervous. I don't know why I said a guy, anyone can tense their arm. Uh, I feel. Uh, so my arm was really tense, not because I was like flexing for the doctor, but because I was scared of the needle. So he's like, first of all, do you want to watch it? Do I, do I want to watch a needle going into my arm? Uh, let's think about that for a second. No. So I was looking away. I was like, have you done it? He's like, no, I've not done it. I was like, have you done, have you done it yet? He's like, I've not done it. I've not done it yet. Just calm down. So I was like, okay. 
So I, I was kind of gripping the table, which made it worse because you're not meant to do that. He's like, can you let go of the table? <laughs> okay, I will let go of the table. So I let go of the table, but then my arm was still tense. So when he did it, it went into my muscle, which was tense. And it hurt so much. So the first thought that went through my head was, Dan is a betrayer. He has lied to me. This is horrible. And second thought is, I hate the doctor. Um, so I had the injection, big baby about it. I was like, ow! You said it wouldn't hurt. You said it'd be a small scratch. Sorry, anyone that has to go get a flu shot, by the way, who's like worrying about it. Just me. Just don't tense your arm and you'll be fine. Um, so then put a plaster on it, which I had on yesterday. This morning, I checked and he stuck the plaster underneath where the jab was. I don't know if you can see. No, you can't. That was where the jab was, and, and he'd put the plaster there. So I'd just be walking around all day with the plaster on nothing. It was like a sticker on my arm. Great job, doctor. Uh, oh, I'm cold. Putting it back on now. <laughs> Envelop me, softness. This is such a nice jacket. It just, it's so warm. Huh. Uh, L fainted in maths class after theirs. L. That's terrible. My brother once submitted himself for a medical trial <laughs> at university. Do you know one of those things to make a little bit of extra money? And it involved injections, and he's terrible with injections. Like, I think he's not, I don't know if he's scared of them, but he just has a bad reaction to having a needle in his arm. Anyway, they asked him not to have breakfast or any food for 24 hours before, so he's feeling a bit faint already. And he was sat in the waiting room getting ready for the injection. He's like, oh, I'm feeling faint. I, I need some food. I need to eat, but it's fine. I'm going to do this. I'll get some food. I'll be fine. So the thing is, they had to give one injection, then he had to go sit down, and then they had to give him another one. I don't know what they were injecting or taking blood or something. But he, <laughs> he had the first injection and then went to sit down. And the next thing he knew, people were just going, oh my God, oh my God. And he looked up and he, <laughs> it's probably not going to want me to tell you this, he'd fainted head first into a carpet and then slid face first across the carpet so he, st <laughs> so he stood up thinking everything was fine but he had a massive carpet burn all the way down his face so he went to see the doctor and the doctor was just like what happened to you because he didn't want to be removed from the trial and not get the money he's like nothing i'm fine and the doctor was like your face is fully bleeding so my brother had to explain what happened and he got removed from the trial and didn't get any money for it uh so <laughs> that's a war don't submit yourself for medical trials they could do anything for you i mean to you you don't know what they put on you my mum was a match she was like don't submit yourself for a medical trial you want 50 pounds you crazy son always one for a little uh scheme my brother uh <laughs> yeah i wouldn't have done that is he okay it was it was a long time ago it was like 10 years ago uh, well, I thought it was very funny just because he had a giant carpet burn on his face for a long time. So, <laughs> so being the lovely brother that I am, I reminded it of him. He doesn't like he's he doesn't like carpets either. That's the thing, like the texture of a carpet, like a, the rough texture. So if that's straight to his face, that is not a good day for for M slice. I need to eat another one of these. Just get to know each other in the chat. I'm just gonna. Here's your pretzel. Mm 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 mm. Mm mm mm. Hello Lily. Hello Annie. It's very rude to talk while I'm in front of how many people? I don't even know how many of you are watching. Thousands of people. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on to my appetite. If I'm, I'm going to slide this across the table, so I'm not going to be tempted. There we go. Um, what else is new? Pastel plushies came out. Look at these little small guys. If you want a pastel plushie, they're at downandphilshop.com. Perfect for an Easter gift for someone that watches Dan and Phil. As the pastel is strong, they've got a pink flower crown and a blue and pink flower crown on me. Went through lots of iterations of flower crowns before we were happy with this one. So that's I think I did a poll like a year ago saying that we were going to do these plushies and that's how long it's taken getting samples back and sending them back and forth before we were like, yes! This is the one. We also, this is like the fourth kind of dungaree that we made because we got one and it was too hard. It was like a sharp metal. And we got another and this was too thin so we didn't want it to break. So there's loads of stuff behind the scenes with these plushies that you don't see. I think it's probably like 73 emails and 10 samples before 
uh, they hit the shelves of the Dan and Phil shop. Speaking of merch, Dan also released his own line of merch, which is really cool. It's so Dan, isn't it? It's like Dan has blended himself into a paste and then reformed it into merch. Uh, so if you want to check Dan's merch out, I need to get the website right, shop.danielhowell.com. There you go. Uh, if you want some Daniel merch, I'm a fan of it. You might see me wearing some in a future gaming video. Uh, so look forward to that. I am very uncast characteristically dark uh, <laughs> in the video, but it does suit me actually. Um, so I think that might be the next gaming video actually. And I'm also working on a fill shop. It's in the, it's in the future. It's not like coming out next week. It's in the distant future. We're still in the discussion stage of what the product's going to be. So, uh, it'll be later in the year when it does come out. But I'm really excited. I've got so many ideas. Uh, so I'm excited to share those with you when they're ready. Uh, I'm not saying anything. No, whatever you're typing in the chat, I can't see it. You know I'm a bad liar. I won't be able to. I won't be able to, <laughs> I won't be able to hide what I, I'm saying or not. Uh, stop it. So uh, Fortnite. I've been playing a lot of Fortnite since we did the gaming video. Actually, I know it's the most popular thing in the world right now. I'm so bad. Me against a hundred other players is always going to end up with me dying. But I have got to the final six a few times. And it makes me quite angry just because I think if you don't get a reward for something that you're trying really hard at, after a while it gets quite frustrating that people keep killing you. So uh, we've been doing the test of how stressed I am. Dan's like, are you okay, Phil? Do you need to take a break? Uh, and if I can say ye, like ye, it means I'm fine. But if I'm like ye, that means I need to chill out and play something else that doesn't involve shooting people. <laughs> it's very, very stressful. But I did one thing where I was hiding in a room and I put traps on all sides of the room and I hid in there. And then I put a gun on the floor and hid in the corner. And then someone just walked in and then all my traps got them. And it was the best time. I wish I'd recorded it or even my reaction. I've never won a game, but when that happened, I was just like, yes, I finally killed someone. Uh, if you want to see us playing Fortnite, there's, there is a video on Danifor Games. Uh, we were pretty, we were pretty terrible, but we did kill a few people, so that was fine. All right, let's have a look at some premium messages. Who have we got today? Jess loved my amazing Phil video. Thanks, Jess. We reacted to our Instagram explore pages. Uh, if you've not seen it, it's on Amazing Phil. I, I kid you not, my explore page has got so weird since making that video. I don't know how I influenced it to be weirder. It is very strange. What have we got today? An elephant attacking someone. A terrifying baby model. Um, someone chopping a grenade in half that is filled with slime is right at the top. A slime grenade. Uh, so go to your Instagram and see what the first thing in your explore page is and tell me in the chat. I would be interested to know. So go to Instagram, press the magnifying glass, and the first thing, you're not allowed to lie. Mine is paralyzed kittens, said Abigailia. Uh, <laughs> a picture of Dab and Evan. Pictures of Harry Styles, said Anouk. I've got a couple of Harry Styles. I had a dream. You just reminded me of my dream. I was hanging out with Harry Styles in Singapore and he was late for his flight. And for some reason we were on the same tour and I was trying to help him get to the gate in Singapore airport. And he was like, thanks, Phil. That's really helpful. And uh, that was my dream. I woke up like, he's such a good friend. We should hang out. Oh yeah, he's not my friend. That was not real. Uh, <laughs> uh, a picture of my forehead from Hazel. Um, Jared, uh, what else have we got? A blue coke, said Izzy. A camel with three legs, said Sarah. <laughs> I like that. Brendan Yuri, baby goats. Karen, I want some of yours. Can you replace the weird stuff with baby goats on my Instagram? A fish from Courtney. Guinea pigs from Rachel. And lots of Kim Kardashian memes from Jamie Rose. Uh, <laughs> and uh, sloths from Jessica. Let's have a look at the top fans. Addy's number one, followed by Lucas Lucas. Triple Lucas, Ashley Jolly, Lily Fanstuff, GGV, Sam Knightley Phillip, Joanne, uh, Panda Party Time, and Honeymoon Kui, or QI. 
if I could feed you a pretzel through the through the camera, I would. But you can eat a metaphorical pretzel. Thank you. Um, have you seen anything cool on Netflix? Said Gogan. Yes, I have seen Annihilation, which was a mixed reviewed film with Natalie Portman about her going to the jungle to investigate a mysterious thing called the Shimmer, which is like a bubble. And loads of people have gone in to investigate like soldiers and things like that. And no one has come out alive. Dun 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 dun. Anyway, the ship is slowly expanding. So they want to go in and investigate it before the entire world is destroyed. So I've got Instagram in the corner of my eye, reloading the slime gifts. Uh, so it's a really cool concept. I love original sci-fi. Also, all the cast are female, which is great. So the entire troupe is a group of women that go into the into the jungle and investigate what's going on. It's super trippy. Uh, I want to watch it again just because after you've watched it, the last few minutes are just like having your face ripped off. It's crazy. Uh, I don't know if it's on American Netflix or any of the Netflix. Apparently the movie studio decided it was too smart for European and worldwide viewers to be released in cinema. Too smart. I, I'm offended by this. I think it's paramount. I am offended that you think it's too smart for me. I handled it. Um, yeah, so it only got released in American cinemas. Everywhere else in the world either doesn't have it or we got it on Netflix, thankfully. So I would check it out. Annihilation, if you want some trippy sci-fi. Um, it's really good. How's the tour planning going? We are getting close. It's very The tour is very real now. It's, it's a thing that's happening. Uh, we're going to be in touring the UK I think it's in like 40 days or something. So it's a thing. We know what most of the show is now. Like it's got, it's got a whole, what's the word? It's not a storyline, you know, a timeline. We know what's going on. We know what lots of the segments are. We know what we're going to be doing. We haven't started rehearsing yet, but we're really excited to share with you the process of everything that's happening. Cause some people are like, what's the tour? What's going to be happening? Well, we can't really share that until we start doing some stuff about it because it's not like we can show a trailer of us doing something we haven't done yet um but we're thinking of doing instagram stories to document loads of the stuff that's happening like rehearsals and stuff that happens while we're on tour as well and it's just a, a nice way what's going on and i've been consuming a lot of instagram stories lately at first when it came out i didn't like it that much but it's one of those things that i'm like i'm watching so many other people's instagram stories now it would be cool if while we are out and about and actually doing something that's not sitting on a sofa or writing or filming, like we're actually in loads of different places and doing exciting things to share with you something like that. Because last time we did the documentary, so it was like we're filming everything, but we can't show it yet. But this time I want you guys to be as involved as possible without filling it with spoilers because I want a few surprises uh, for the show. But I'm so so excited for it. I, I, I just, I, I really want it just to be the day of the first show. Um, so if you want to come see it, I would highly recommend that you do. It's going to be so much fun. It is danandphiltour.com and we have tickets in loads of places. So if you have a town near you or it's a bit of a drive away, why not take a day trip? Go explore a new town. I'm coming to the Reading show, said Tori. There's lots of people commenting to where they're coming because we're going all over the world. So thank you to everyone that's coming. Emily said, what's happening with the TBC dates? Uh, we've had some issues with some of the venues, but we are ready to put Singapore, Hong Kong on Mumbai um, dates out, I think, next week. So I think... I don't know the date, so I don't want to like promise it, but keep an eye on my Twitter next week as that's when we'll be putting the dates on the website with some time before the tickets are actually out. Um, but this again is still TBC, but it's like 90% certain. The port will be on the 15th of September, Hong Kong will be the 18th of September, and Mumbai will be the 21st of September. All these TBC dates are far in the distance so those are the ones that we've managed to secure it's just like we're doing the final bells and whistles before they can be released uh, but i'm very excited about that uh, i can't wait for toronto says sarah montreal uh that's that's the tbc at the moment uh we've had loads of problems with that one unfortunately but we're still trying to get it sorted um 
There's lots of things happening in the background. Yeah, uh, those are the ones that we can release now. Birmingham, there's lots of people just saying random places now. Yeah, I'm so excited to see you guys there. Uh, love the new hair, said Lily. Thank you. Uh, I'm writing about you in my dissertation, said Kirsty. Hopefully it's a nice, <laughs> a nice topic. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that would be. Is it about YouTube? Perhaps. Uh, I'm coming to NJ and NY. Is that New Jersey and New York? Um, Demons in Mosh Pit group chat loves hair, said Jenny Shan. Thanks, Demons in Mosh Pit group chat. Uh, Fab Five will be proud of your transformation, said it critic. I know, I loved Queer Eye, it was so good. I've already done my transformation now, so I can't go on the show. Uh, but if you want some wholesome uh, Netflix action that's probably going to make you cry, 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 uh, cry, um, watch Qu Queer Eye, uh, Queer Cry, Queer Eye. Uh, you should watch it, it's, it's, so, it's so good. I think I cried on like four out of five of the episodes. I don't know how they made it so emotional every time. Um, it was great. Uh, Christina, who's your favourite in the Fab Five? Probably the one that does the entire house. Because first of all, I love home renovation shows. And secondly, that is a lot of work to just completely transform someone's house every week. There's eight episodes. I don't know, you know, four out of eight or something. Um, it used to be on in England or the UK a long time ago like a UK version of it. I don't even know how old I was when that was on, but I think there was a UK, am I imagining there was a UK version? I don't know, but I love this new reboot. It's, it's amazing. Uh, I'm excited to see you in 40 days, said Jess. That's so close. Uh, Marie said, it's been 84 years or since my last live show, uh, maybe. How are you preparing for interactive introverts? Have you injured? I said Bex, I haven't injured myself yet. Thankfully, there's no popping canes this time. Do you know the dance number? At the internet is here when we pop the canes. What you might not have noticed is I cut my hand open during, I'd say, a quarter of the shows. Those things were lethal. They were spring-loaded, so you have to... We always we had them in our pockets, and then we'd do the dance, and then get to the point where they come out when we're walking across the stage. And then I'd have to reach in my pocket, have it in my hand, do a lot of the dance with this in my hand. But then as soon as you let go, it goes boing. And if you keep hold of it for any length of time, you've got to go bum bum. And that's when it jumps out and then you catch it again. But if you do it too slowly, it was made out of metal and it just sliced my hand open. <laughs> so the stage manager was like, why is the blood all over the stage? And it was a category two fill disaster chopping my hand open. This is a spoiler, said Michael. No, that's for the last show. That was Tatanoff. That's there's no popping canes this time. Um, so there's a little behind the scenes. Haven't injured myself this time, mainly because we haven't started rehearsing yet. I'm sure, when rehearsal comes around, they'll fill mistakes and injuries abound. You know me. If there's a way to trip over something, I'm gonna trip over it. Uh, Nay Nay said, "Would you ever get a succulent?" What a lovely question. Uh, Dan's got loads of succulents. I think he takes ownership of the succulents in this apartment. So I I'm just like their fun uncle that doesn't have to water them. So I I, I am surrounded by succulents, but I don't own any succulents. Um, Rafano almost chopped their finger off. They are very clumsy. Ha! Huh! Fingers and knives. That's another dangerous thing. Plant Funkle, <laughs> the fun uncle. Uh, be careful, Phil. Uh, do I get a nose or septum piercing, said Miss Megan Joan? That is completely up to you. If you want to get one, you should get one. Um, I love you so much. Thank you, Amazing Bailey. That's very sweet of you. Lucas, what have you been doing today? Um, well, my arm has been killing from the whole flu jab incident. So I, I've, I've been like, what can I do without moving my arm. Uh, so, not that much really. It's been lots of tour planning. So, it's been a very emaily day, but also a very productive day. And I thought, you know what, I want to hang out with some people on you now. So, that's what I've been thinking about doing as well. Also, lots of messing with, with various products as well. Um, are you going to go see Love, Simon? I might see it. It seems like a good plane movie, so I might save it for the plane. I usually watch like romantic comedies and comedies on a plane because I can't watch anything that'll make me cry. Unless it's super bittersweet then I'll see it before. Uh, <laughs> so I don't want to cry on a plane. 
like usual. Um, Emily seeing it tomorrow. I kind of felt movied myself out in Oscar season because I was so obsessed with seeing all the films. I have been to the cinema so much this year. I'm like, I'm not done with popcorn, obviously, but I've just, I've just been into the cinema so much. So I'm saving some stuff because there's quite a few plane journeys around tour as well. So I need, especially going to Australia, I need to save some stuff to watch on a plane. Uh, oh, you're going to cry. Oh, no! I hate bittersweet stuff. Why is everything bittersweet nowadays? Just give me happiness. Um, how's your glasses, said Ritz. Uh, my glasses... Oh, yeah, I had some eye issues, uh, which I think I told you about. But I've got some new contact lenses now. They're still not perfect. My eyes are still pretty dry. So, well before, I, I could wake up at, like, 9 or 10 a.m., whack my contacts in, and then have the whole day till 2 in the morning and be fine. Now, by the time it gets to like 8 or 9 p.m., I'm a bit like, I know to lubricate my eyes. Um, so I might be blinking a lot now, which is also apparently a symptom of staring at a screen. Because I'm staring at a screen, my eyes match the refresh rate of the screen, which makes me blink slower or something. I don't know. Some kind of uh, science behind it. Go back to glasses. I, I, I do wear, I wear them like two times a week, three times a week. So you will be seeing filling glasses occasionally. There might even be some tour dates where I'm wearing glasses just because my eyes need to rest sometimes. So it might be doing... Blooping! You keep blooping your eyes. You're making me blink! Okay, staring contest. Three, two, one. Don't blink. Oh my god, I'm being really bad. This is not a good idea when I've got dry eyes. Ah! <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> I was in the... Staring World Cup, I would have come lost. Last. Uh, Radio Rebel lost. Uh, Merquo's won. Uh, I actually beat lots of people. Okay, I feel a bit better now. Um, Riley said, rename my uke. Dan's name sucked. What did he call it? Uh, I'm going to call it... I'm just going to name it after someone in the chat. I'm going to call it... Three, two, one... First thing I saw was Pastel H. Pastel Horace. You need to paint it pastel, and now it's Pastel Horace. Uh, Neve said, how's it going? Good. We're on top of things. Uh, planning some exciting things. I sent a very exciting email this week, uh, which I will. you will see the fruits of my labour uh, on the show. Hi to Grace from Courtney. Give you a shout out as well, Courtney. Uh, darling. Emily zero one MSP, uh, Amelia. Hello, Amelia. Thanks for the applause, Elizabeth. I love the new Sims video. Said Lauren. Yes, uh, we got the jungle expansion pack, which is, by the way, so cool. There's there's so much that can happen. A lot of it seems like it wants to kill your Sim, um, but it looks like things are bubbling away with Dab and Evan. Looks like Devon might be a thing. Uh, it's looking pretty likely. The pink bar is filled up. They've been through traumatic times with spiders. They've been snuggling in a hot tub. I mean, looks like it's going to happen, guys. Please make it happen. It's it's up to the gods of The Sims. but and also up to me, who is probably the god of The Sims as well. Uh, but yeah, that's exciting. So if you haven't caught up, YouTube's been having some issues recently. I noticed they were tweeting like, Oh, subscription boxes are broken. What's new? So, go to the gaming channel, as you might have missed a couple of videos. I know two of them definitely didn't go into subscription box. So, go check out Dan and Phil Games to be up to speed on the Devon soap opera before the next episode comes up. Uh, two bros. <laughs> Did anyone sing the title when they saw that? Thank you, Anthony, for blessing us with that vine. Juddalina's birthday is on Monday. What should you do? Treat yourself to a giant cake. It's the best thing to do. Or you could do it the fill way and just have a whole birthday month. Like, who needs a birthday when you have a birth month? Uh, or like the Queen, you could have two birthdays. Uh, Amy's got a black eye from KOing a pole. Help! You need to put some cucumbers on that or something. Or you could just look badass for a while. Like, you're in a gang uh, and people might avoid you. Uh, <laughs> just don't say you walked into a pole. Um... Paris is seeing us two days before their birthday. That's exciting. I'll be thinking, happy birthday, Paris, from the stage. 
It's Dan's birthday when we're away. I think we're going to be in Poland, which is cool. So Dan's going to have a Polish birthday. Uh, Jasmine fell off a horse. Oh my god, I hope you're okay. The horses are high up. I would totally fall off a horse if I was sat on a horse. Um, I have not heard the new Panic at the Disco song, but I saw Twitter going crazy earlier. So I will give it a listen. It seems to have gone down well. Yes, Poland, said Stormer. Um, people seem to like it. Uh, Lucas is seeing me in Sheffield. Hyped to see you, Lucas. Should I say, Lucas, Lucas, Lucas? Or just Lucas? Um, what else have we got? There's lots of repeating ones. So I'm trying to get some new people. Uh, love your new hair. Thanks, Lissa's Lunacy. Can't wait to see you in VA Beach. VA. The Virginia? I don't know. I, sorry. I'm so bad at the uh, the American state abbreviations. We don't get taught that at school. Um, what is it? I'm wrong. Uh, Infinity War, said Samantha. I booked my tickets. I'm so excited. I saw trailer one, but I'm, I haven't seen the next three, two trailers. Uh, I'm going to go in spoiler free now as, as much as I can. I think my tickets are booked like a week after it comes out. So I need to just avoid, I need to go into a spoiler cave before that. Um, but I'm so excited. I can't believe all of these characters are going to be in one movie. I hope it's good. I, I mean, it's going to be good. It's obviously going to be good. But I don't want to have cat... Um, I almost said catastrophic. Whatever the opposite of catastrophic is. Humongous expectations. I'm going in neutral. Uh, so then I'm hoping I'll be pleasantly surprised. Or just smacked in the face by Thor. It's going to be great. Um, why, uh, I'm rocking the camera a lot. Sorry. It's like a bit of an earthquake. Um... It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Uh, Kirsten's cat just ran into a wall. <laughs> Is your cat okay? Did it have the cat zoomies? The cat zoomies. The coomies. Um, that's one of my favourite things when dogs get the zoomies. I watch so many videos of that. Hi, Miranda and Amanda and Dana. Oh, you combo killed it, Dana. You should be called Alanda. GGV, how's Fortnite going? I, I'm obsessed with it. Um... I got it on the mobile, but I, I can't control it on the mobile, so I'm sticking to the PlayStation. You are you really see your hair. Thanks, Leah Michelle. Maybe you can stick around a bit longer then. Uh, Sarah says, my whole arm bruises when I get shots. Yeah, everyone on Twitter was like, what's a jab? Uh, that's what we call injections here in the old mother country. Uh, we don't call it a shot. That sounds so violent. A shot. It's like you're being shot in the arm by a gun. Um, the Queen invented English and she called it a jab. So that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, interesting name. I know. It confused a lot of people. Uh, Charlie said a jab is a jelly dab and that's the fact. <laughs> what is a jelly dab? Is that what I'm going to be searching later? Ways to look into jelly dabbing. Um, let's see who else we've got. Before I head off into the sunset, even though it's been wonderful talking to you guys, uh, shout out the top people, Addy, Lucas, Lily, Ashley Jolly, GGV, Bex the Legend, Dan, there's someone just called Dan, hi Dan, is it Daniel Howell, no, uh, Jess Holden, Sam Knightley Phillip, and Darling Daring, there you go, uh, Ashley's going to get their tongue pierced, that sounds so painful, I, uh, uh, I, you can't see it, I've got like a small scar on my tongue from when I was a kid, and I jumped off pretty high box in my parents' garage and bit halfway through my tongue, like, hum, uh, which was dumb. So I kind of felt your pain. It'll be fine. It won't hurt at all. <laughs> Did they numb your tongue before? I don't even know. Uh, Grace got the plushies last week. They're so cute. Thank you, Grace. Um, Purple J. I only get half of your messages, by the way, so you need to keep them short and snappy. Purple J. Thanks so much for doing a live show. You made my broken heart feel... I'm hoping that's better. I'm sorry you've got a broken heart. You will feel better soon, I promise. Uh, hi to the LFS group chat. Was that LFS? I think it was. Uh, I've not listened to the new Panic! at the Disco, but I will. I will do it. Um, so, this has been fun. Thank you for coming. Uh, thanks for all the nice words about my hair. You guys are great. Um, I'm going to head off into the distance. <laughs> i said that like three times now. Uh, how have you enjoyed the show? I hope you have. I hope you're healthy. I hope everything's 
grand with you. I'll see you very soon, probably in the form, probably in the form of a gaming video. And if you haven't already, get your tour tickets. Come see me, danafiltour.com. See the forehead in person. Um, thanks, Shiraya. Thanks, Luna. Uh, Platonic Cow. Oh, that's Platonic Cow. Uh, Alexi Flyer, Mariah, Star, Veggie Lou, Michaela, Jasmine, Sharena, Lucas, 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 Annika, Diana C, um, Corinna, Lockie, Kirsten, uh, Leah, Boo Southern, Hiwatari. Uh, this won't be on my YouTube channel. Um, because I still haven't set it up again. Sorry. Uh, I think you can still watch it on my Tumblr though, right? If I'm, am I still streaming on Tumblr? Didn't check. Am I, am I on Tumblr right now? Yeah. So just watch it back on Tumblr. Fine. Uh, go to amazingphil.tumblr.com or it's on my you now page as well, straight after. So if you see anyone on Twitter saying, where's it on YouTube? Please can you just send them in the right direction if you see it before me. I will see you guys very soon. Good. Bye. That's the Phil plushie eye. It's watching you. It's now inside your webcam. Goodbye.